guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Tara. Um, if you're new here, I tend to make videos uh, making song covers and also a little bit about my experience in med school. But this week, I've got a slightly different kind of video for you guys. So this video is all about how I have been able to make music at home during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you guys didn't know, I usually live in Ireland, but once COVID-19 happened, I needed to move back home in with my parents in Canada and unfortunately had to leave a lot of my normal music equipment behind in Ireland. And what that meant was that I didn't, I wasn't able to record in the way that I wanted to, I wasn't able to produce music in the way that I wanted to, I wasn't able to do a lot of the things that I normally would be able to do. So I reached out to a company called Focusrite and we've been working together for the past few months to make this happen. They have sent me uh, a package to help me make better music at home for you guys with the help of Focusrite. So Focusrite has sent me all of this equipment and uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the company, why I like them. Um, I, I reached out to them initially because I use their equipment regularly when I'm in Ireland. So I wanted to see if there was a brand that would really help out and help musicians that were struggling during COVID-19 times and Focusrite really stepped up to the plate. So uh, let's get into this unboxing. So first, first things first out of the box is this. This is Focusrite's condenser microphone. It's very, very simple, sleek, sleek black design, simple logo on the front. So this microphone is really great for the starting out musician. It's really, really simple. It's a plug and play. There's not a lot of guesswork to it and it works really well with the integrated um, Scarlett interface. So the microphone also comes with this ring holder mic stand, which just screws into place very, very simply. And then you've got a very well supported microphone stand. Um, it connects to most standard microphone stands. At my parents' house, I don't have one. So I'm going to improvise one out of an old guitar stand, a meter stick, and some tape. So this microphone is a unidirectional condenser microphone. Um, it's great for people who are just kind of starting to build their home studio, as well as people who've just moved somewhere or you need to really save space. It's a pretty good microphone. I think I would really like it if it had some additional features where I could have a little bit more control over it within the microphone itself. But if you're just starting out, I think it's actually a perfect microphone because it's really simple. It's a plug and play condenser. So just to show you guys, this is what the microphone setup looks like. Meter stick, tape, microphone, more tape, old guitar stand. It's pretty secure. Not exactly great looking, but pretty secure. So that's the microphone. It also comes with a three meter microphone cable in the kind of scarlet red color that Focusrite is known for and that especially the scarlet line is known for. So the next thing out of the box is the headphones. So these headphones have a lot of cushion to them, a lot of give. They're adjustable on the sides, which I've got like a kind of a smaller head. So as, I, as is, they fit pretty nice, but I can also adjust them on the sides if I wanted more more space in them. And they dampen the, the outside sound pretty well. And they're in a quarter inch jack, which means that they wouldn't work in like a, like a headphone jack, but it works with the associated interface. Which brings me to the main event, which is the Scarlett 2i2 third generation interface. So this bad boy, I love it. When I started kind of building my home studio to do YouTube and to do tunes with Tara, this was one of the first things on my list to get. And I'm so happy that Focusrite was able to send me one of these when they heard about how I had to leave all my equipment in Ireland. So it comes with two outputs that are both XLR and quarter inch with gain on both of them. And you can kind of configure it to be in an instrumental sound or if you wanted to give a, more of a brightness to the sound, you can hit the air option. It's got a fantastic preamp on it, um, which will support condenser microphones. I absolutely love it. Um, then it's got this whole monitoring side over here. You can control all of your levels. 
Um, you've got line outputs on the back. You've got left and right line outputs on the back. Um, as well as your USB jack. I haven't taken off the back piece of plastic yet. It's a great piece of equipment. I'm really glad they sent it to me. The only thing with it is that the back of it is a USB-C output, and I use a MacBook Pro that no longer has uh, your standard USB-A input on it. When I use this device, I have to use a converter, like this one from Apple, um, to convert a USB-A into a USB-C. It would be really nice if there was an option to buy the 2i2 with USB-C on both sides. That would be just a minor critique, but even then, it's so, so minor for the quality you're getting, and I, no I haven't noticed any problems when using the converter like this with the interface. I've noticed no problems. So now, on to how I make Tunes with Tara work for me at home. So, when I choose to make Tunes with Tara, there are some things that kind of go into the process of that. Selecting the song, making sure that I've got all of the right equipment, which is kind of what I've all talked about, practicing the song, and then I have to record it. So on my recording setup on my laptop, all of the equipment I've just talked about feeds into my laptop. And then that goes through, at the moment, GarageBand, I'm thinking of maybe upgrading to Logic at some point. This is what my recording setup looks like. So it's a Canon EOS M50. Right now I've got a Sigma 16 millimeter prime lens on it with a Rode shotgun mic. Sometimes I make mistakes where I pretty, I messed up a chord and I think I also messed up the lyrics. Yep, I did. I messed up lyrics and chords. <sighs> this is just the life of Tunes with Tara. It happens sometimes. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to restart the garage band and I'm going to do it live again. My ticket for the long way round Two bottles of whiskey for the way And I sure would like some sweet company And I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? When I'm gone, when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my hair You're gonna miss me everywhere, oh You're gonna miss me when I'm gone I got my ticket for the long way round The one with the prettiest of views It's got mountains, it's got rivers It's got sights to give you shivers But it sure would be prettier with you When I'm gone, when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my walk You're gonna miss me by my talk Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone When I'm gone when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my hair You're gonna miss me everywhere Are oh, you sure gonna miss me when I'm gone When I'm gone When I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my walk You're gonna miss me by my talk Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone When I'm gone when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my hair You're gonna miss me everywhere Are you sure you're gonna miss me when I'm gone? And that is what I call a perfect take. So now I always listen back to it to make sure that I like it and I listen all the way through. I listen all the way through just to make sure that I like it as much as I thought I did when I recorded it. Sometimes when you listen back you hear things that you didn't quite like when you did them. So let's give it a listen. All right, so what I've learned is that I am happy with that. I was able to pick up on all the nuances. For me, 
I think the part that I love about live recordings is the imperfections of it. I love hearing when you do something that you didn't quite realize that you were doing, but it makes it sound human. And I think that's what I really like about the kind of music that I make is that I try to make it sound as human as possible. So that brings us to the end of our video and I would like to give a huge thank you to Focusrite for sending me all of this amazing equipment so that I can continue to make great music for you guys. I hope that you can take some of the things that I've shown you today and implement them at home. Please show me what you guys are doing at home. I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you have, if you try these things, please tell me in the comments. Um, as always, give this video a like and a subscribe. Go and check out Focusrite on their social media channels. I will put that all down below in the description box. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye guys.